everyone, this is Amanda from DevotionInAction.com, and I'm here in an interleaved Bible where there are blank pages in between every page of text, and I'm using that largest printout of the Wisdom uh, number 3, with the treasure chest, and the shield, and the path, and I'm just going to lay the other one there beside because this has a lot of details, and so it's easier for me to know what I'm seeing through the page if I have a reference point over to the side to kind of see what it, what it looks like uh, over, over on the smaller printables there. And I'm just going to trace this out with my pencil. And while I do, we are in Proverbs 2, verses 1 through 9. It says, My son, if you accept my words and store up my commands within you, listening closely to wisdom and directing your heart to understanding, Furthermore, if you call out to insight and lift your voice to understanding, if you seek it like silver and search for it like hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and discover the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He stores up success for the upright. He is a shield for those who live with integrity, so that he may guard the paths of justice and protect the way of his faithful followers. Then you will understand righteousness, justice, and integrity, every good path. So I think this is really interesting because the things that really stood out to me as I, as I read this were this idea of seeking for wisdom like treasure, that when we do that, he, God is a shield for those who live with integrity, and that He directs us in every good path. Um, and and so that, that idea of a treasure chest, a shield, and a path, they just really stood out to me. So try to create a printable that had... <laughs> had kind of all of those elements and I had to think about it for a while. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it didn't like immediately pop into my head, like how to, how to do that. But I thought, you know, this, this is an interesting, um, an interesting principle because as I look at it, it seems like the path can either be coming from the treasure chest or going to the treasure chest. Like you could be doing either one. It could be the destination or it can be like the start of the journey as well. And so uh, thinking about it that way, um, I think it, in some ways it's both. Uh, in some ways, um, when we search for that wisdom and God starts giving us some of his wisdom and understanding, um, then we start off on the path that he has designed for our lives. But at the same time, we're all continually seeking his wisdom and his understanding to deepen in that and to become more Christ-centered and more um, full of righteousness and justice and integrity. And in that sense, we're all like headed down the path toward those things as well. So uh, I don't know. It just seemed like we're, we're doing both things at the same time. Um, you don't have to be super specific with all of these little uh, coins and jewels inside of the treasure chest. I thought of them as, as coins, uh, uh, silver and gold, brass kind of coins um, in this treasure chest. So they're not, uh, you don't have to like put the circles exactly where I put the circles um, or anything like that. It can be, you may even make it look more abstract and less of it filled in, just the color and then a few circles here and there to give the idea, or a few ovals. And the same thing for these ones on the path. And now I'm just taking my uh, Faber-Castell Pit Artist pen, and I'm going to line over all of those pencil lines I just made. So as I line out all of those pencil uh marks in this, it is an India ink. It does not react with water. Therefore, it um, will not smear or smudge when I watercolor over the top of it. If you do not have a pen that will not react to watercolor and you're going to watercolor with me in a moment, then just leave it in pencil, watercolor with me, and then line it out after we watercolor. Just my idea was that they kind of like, it was so full of treasure that it just kind of spilled out along the path uh, that 
those those uh, goodies, I guess, that God has for us when we seek after His wisdom and His understanding, are they overflow. Um, it fills the treasure chest and then kind of flows out onto the path. And then we overflow with those as we go about our daily lives, um, giving good things, good treasures, good, valuable things to other people, um, insight and wisdom that will not just assist us in our travels, in our, in our daily lives, in our work, in our relationships, but it also aids other people. It can help other people. The wisdom that God gives us can help, not that we go around telling people what to do, but like if we make wise decisions in our work, then it assists our coworkers, it assists the business owners or, you know, the leaders of our organizations that we work for. Um, It it assists them as well for us to be wise and discerning and uh, full of understanding. So that those kind of treasures of God's wisdom, they overflow. And um, this word art that just kind of heads down the path is um, just in a, in a cursive for the most part. You'll notice that I wanted treasure, wisdom, shield, path to really stand out. So those are in all caps, um, not in cursive. Okay, once you have everything lined out in that uh, black ink pen, you can remove that printable and kind of take a look at it, make sure you got everything. I'd forgotten to come back and get that up there, I, and I wasn't quite sure exactly how it looked. And honestly, you can make it look however you want. Um, <laughs> and then just erase those stray pencil marks. Get rid of all the extra pencil marks and brush off all of those eraser shavings. Yay! Get rid of all of that. As we work on this, I was thinking about this idea of this path and kind of wondering if we need to do a little bit of introspection. What path are you on? You know, we were talking about wisdom in this series and having wisdom for wisdom's sake is great, but God has a higher purpose for us getting wisdom and understanding. See, every day we make decisions. They can seem like big decisions or small decisions. Hundreds of them uh, we make every day. We're going along life and we are making decisions all of the time. All of these decisions, when added together, they kind of determine the path of our lives. The decisions move us down the path. We can make those decisions in a couple of different ways. We can make them with an overall game plan, a framework. If we know the destination and the path we want to take to get there, then we have a framework established in our lives, and each decision is made in the context of that framework. Applying wisdom and understanding to to like focus in um, that framework means that it's easier to stay on the path and reach our destination. Never thinking about a destination or direction ahead of time means that we're kind of making decisions free form. And those decisions are are deciding for us what that path is going to be. Each decision has the potential to take us in a good direction down a beneficial path or to take us backwards or it can head us off in a, a distraction or even worse. Um, there's going to be a lot of kind of Uh, warm browns in the wood and in the path there that are going to contrast with the silvers and golds of the coins um, and the shield. So uh, not not a huge color palette here for uh, this this piece. I I am gonna think use some green to kind of come go around the path. One thing that you'll want to notice as you put this on here is where your water is pooling. Wherever it pools, it's going to end up drying darker. So um, you can pull those to wherever you want and and lift your brush wherever you want the water to pool and it will pool in those spots and make it darker as far as where you want 
you know, shadowing to occur or anything like that. So as we work on that, let's think about these paths. So Proverbs 2.9 states that every good path starts with understanding righteousness, justice, and integrity. God's kind of wisdom. The Lord gives us wisdom to order the paths of our lives for our protection and our benefit. Remember, he is a shield to us. It's part of our protection and our benefit. His gift of wisdom and understanding is a treasure that cannot be purchased. It must be searched for, sought after, and valued. And when God sees us doing those things, he generously gives it to us, revealing his path before us. So when we're building that framework uh, for the decisions of our lives, we need to be seeking the wisdom and understanding of God. And that process of getting wisdom, it's not a one of immediate gratification. It requires daily decisions to keep seeking, keep going, right? Daily searching for God's wisdom and applying His understanding to our lives helps us remain on a Christ-centered path. that leads us towards success according to God's definition. Because remember up in that up in that Bible verse it said <clears throat> he stores up success for the upright, right? So God's definition of of success, it leads us toward that. So just I want you to think about this as we continue to uh, reflect on these on this passage and we are watercoloring in our image. Do you have a framework for the decisions in your life? Just take a moment today to seek God's wisdom and understanding for the path your life should be taking. Do we need a course correction in our daily decision making? Do we need to be considering a framework that God's maybe already told us something that he wants us to do or to move toward and and we've been kind of digging our heels in and not really going applying ourselves to to going that direction. God is ready and willing to give his wisdom to us. We need to ask for it and search in his word. Remember week two, the live chat button? We need to click that live chat button and and consult him on a daily basis uh, so that we can keep moving down the path that he has for our lives and toward what he has designed us to accomplish. So you'll notice that I've got some places on my uh, treasure chest where I did colors next to one another a little too soon. Um, You might want to do like those interior panels of the treasure chest and let them dry completely while you're working on the path or some of the coins um, in the path before you try to do the edging and I went for kind of a golden brown because I was thinking like brass um, edging or in between on those on that treasure chest. Um, and I, I just it got real runny in there uh, <laughs> on me. And so I would say like if you want to uh, learn from my mistakes and uh, let let those interior panels dry a little bit more um, than I did, and maybe work on getting this path in between these coins, um, painted out. And this is just kind of throwing down kind of a light brown color on the path. And then you can come in around and see if it pools around those coins. So it looks like the coins are casting a shadow on the path. And you also want it darker up by the chest because the chest would cast a shadow as well. Lighter over the word art, just gets kind of lighter and lighter and maybe moves into a more golden color than a brown color in that. Still want it to appear to be a path, but the darkest point is up around those coins and the chest so that um, so that you can really see that that is <clears throat> um, casting a shadow on that path and so that you can see the words in the word art. Just give those a little bit of a shine, a, a sparkle, which I think really does add to this quite a bit. I've really enjoyed having these metallic Starry Night set um, watercolors because they add a lot to um, these pages. And then as I'm doing the grass, you'll notice with my brush strokes, I'm kind of like dabbing the the paintbrush on it so that I get a little bit of texture for this grass 
It's not it's not a ton of texture, but it's not just a smooth watercolor surface. So it'd be some dotty dotty little spots of grass there along this path, and it's going to be widest around the treasure chest at the top and the wide part of the path. Um, it will go out further, and then as we get to the narrow part of the path, it comes in really close to that path, and it's just a few little dots there at the bottom. So um, that kind of gives us, it kind of grounds us, gives a little bit more color to this picture. I did leave a big space in the lower left-hand corner um, to, to journal some more private things, to uh, maybe a prayer, um, add a little bit of sky here on the top. It's very subtle, hardly any blue, but it, it does kind of shine through. And so if you want to also, you can um, journal around this path um, some things that God is telling you, maybe about the path that he wants your life to take or the framework for your decisions. Um, as I'm drying this picture, and this is something that um, I've just kind of learned to do through trial and error. As I'm drying it, I'm also touching it up. So if I see that that it's getting too dark in certain places where the paint is drying, then I'm going to kind of brush that as I dry it so that it dries before it can pool again. And um, that really helps to when you have a place where the pooling is just weird. I like it most of the time. Where, But if it's just kind of strange, then um, you can fix that that way. And I feel that, see if it's dry. And if you haven't lined out, then you can uh, do your lining out now. Uh, but if you've lined up, then you're pretty much all done with this entry. You know what? I just realized as I was looking at this, I thought it needs a little something on the page with the words. So I'm just going to use that gold and highlight um, part of this and then I'm going to use whoo my camera sorry guys whoo I don't know why it did not like this did it um, I'm going to use some green kind of blend those uh, together where it comes together since this is such a long passage and that pulls some of those colors from the art side of the page to this side of the page you could do it in the um, you wouldn't have to do the actual words on here. You could do it around the edge or in the corners. You could add some splotches of color. Um, just whatever you like to do. I just kind of liked pulling this page in with the other page and making it feel like a cohesive two-page thing here by pulling that color over there. This is Basic Art Entry. I hope that you are enjoying this series on wisdom, and you'll join me for week four next week.